What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. My name is Leandro Dimanriva and today we're gonna to be making a La Florida cocktail. This particular cocktail was created by a guy named Constantine Rebelagua. Uh, I think that's how it's pronounced. You know what? I've written it below, you guys can correct me if you want, but I think it's Rebelagua. Anyway, Constantine Rebelagua uh, used to work at the La Florida uh, Hotel in Havana, Cuba, which is in Old Town Havana, and it is actually still there. So it was um, built in the 1800s as a residence, and then I think in 1885 it was converted into a hotel. Uh, and they have a couple of bars in there, still working to this day, doing, doing local and international cocktails, and you should definitely check it out. Um, the other little piece of information that I got on this cocktail, because there's not really much on it, is that it was republished in the 1971 Trader Vic's Bartender's Guide. Uh, so that's the 1971 edition. Um, and that's what I got on it. What I love about it is that it is a kind of a, it's got a lot of tiki-esque tiki flavors in a classic cocktail. It's just really nice classic presentation. All right, let's get into the drink. Let's do it, my friends. So first thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of sweet vermouth. And then half an ounce of creme de coco. or creme de cacao. This is the Mary Brizard brand, which is pretty good. I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice. And then one bar spoon grenadine. And then two ounces of light rum. We're using Banks Five Island in this one. We're gonna add our ice, what I like to add to the big tin. And we're gonna shake our drink. All right. It's funny because uh, one person I was just like, oh, when I saw you try to unlock your tin and it took you a couple of tries, uh, it really uh, made me want to feel like, then it, like, they said something like, when I saw you try to unlock your tins and it took you a couple of tries, it really made me feel bad for you. Here's how you do it. But what I love about the Barfly uh, gear is that actually you get a nice good lock and it actually might take you a couple of times to hit it with your palm to get it unlocked and that's good because that means you're never going to end up with a cocktail all over you. All right, cool. We're just going to double strain our cocktail into our glass. We got a nice wash line on this too. Wash line might be a tiny bit low, but I think it looks so nice in this drink. I mean, uh, I like, yeah, this drink looks so nice in this particular glass. And then we're just going to cut a lime wheel to garnish. And there you have it, the La Florida cocktail. Let's try it. So nice, well-balanced cocktail, not too tart. You get the creme de coco right on the finish. The creme de coco and the grenadine are what's providing its, um, its uh, sugar so that it's like nice and tart, but nice and balanced. You get the rum right on the front end. You got the creme, you get the creme de coco and the grenadine together kind of give it a lot of body. You get like a little chocolate vibe to it. Yeah, I like it. That's a good drink. There you have it, my friends. The La Florida cocktail. Oh, by the way, if you like our channel, hit like and subscribe, and uh, that would do us a lot of. Uh, oh, and if you want us, if you want to help us out, check out our Patreon at the Educated Barfly. No, sorry, that patreoncom backslash the Educated Barfly. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later on the next one. Bye bye.